Hi guys, today is day 15 of the vlogging challenge and today we have been tasked with picking our top five. And it can be a top five based on anything we like. And I chose to do a useful, or what I hope will be a useful top five. So I wanted to choose a top five ways to get traffic to your website or blog. And I haven't done this based on what is necessarily going to bring you the most traffic or the best traffic. I've done this on what is going to be the cheapest way to start getting traffic to your blog or site. Because, you know, I know that when you're starting in business or you're starting a new business, sometimes you have to start it on a shoestring budget. And... So I've tried to give you the top five ways to get traffic to your blog on a shoestring budget. So number one, my number one way would be to use your social media sites. So Facebook and Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, all of the sharing sites where you can share your blog or your um website use those first because social media is so powerful people just don't realize the power of social media even now we've been using it for so long and we use it to chat to our friends and you know get messages out there and some people really know the power of it and they're really making use of that power so use that to get people to to go to your website and blog using the link it's so easily done um, you can you can look on YouTube for ways to, to get uh, links that you can use on Facebook um, and other social media sites, so, so definitely do that. Number two is to use social bookmarking sites. Again, they are so easy. There's things like Social Monkey, Social ADR. They are sites you have to pay for, but they're really, really cheap, and the results are kind of amazing. I don't know if you saw my day 13, I think it was, um, vlog challenge where we were um, talking about pimping our results, tracking our results to pimp them. Um, I was showing how my social ADR was exploding my um, bookmarking um, efforts and I was just getting loads and loads of emails back saying that my link had been shared on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, um, you know, it had been linked, shared on LinkedIn. So, you know, and that's after I've done it on social media sites as well, myself. So other people are sharing it with their followers on Google+, Plus, with their followers on LinkedIn. So I've shared it with my followers, and then someone else has shared it with their followers. So it's, it's getting, you know, it could go viral that way. That's, that's the idea behind the bookmarking sites. And then my number three way is to use um, Facebook ads. You know, Facebook actually have ads that you can use. So that is paid again. You have to pay, but you pay a small amount to use Facebook ads. Um, it's not mega expensive. You can get um, as little as a penny a click. If you know how, and if you don't know how, then I can certainly put you in touch with a man who can teach you how. Um, there'll be a link on the page for you to click so that you can get in involved with the Penny Click Profits. Um, but you know, seriously, all, all things aside, there are ways that you can get um, adverts sorted out so that you can get ads done and get people involved and people to your site for penny a click and things like that it's totally totally amazing amazing beyond amazing um so yeah really really good that's you know that's the cheaper end of advertising paid advertising then one step up from that would be your solo ads which are a little bit more expensive and you know you really need to train on how to do them again I can put you in touch with training on that. That's not a problem. Or I can help you with that. No problem whatsoever. But um, that's a little bit more expensive. And you need a little bit more training on solo ads. Hence why it's down at number four. Um, 
you know, but that again, the results are better sometimes from solo ads than what you get uh, from the more the more free the free stuff. And finally, for number five, would be paying a company like Powered Clicks. Powered Clicks has some excellent results. If you go onto their website and have a look, they start um, for two hundred clicks as little as one hundred and seventy dollars. So. And it does go up to you know mega clicks for mega dollars, but if you want to start low, that's kind of cheap. You know that's that's as cheap as it gets, but it's not cheap. But you know when you've got a little bit of momentum going in your business, you've got a little bit of money there, you can start thinking about getting a, a company to start sending you traffic, which in the long run is going to be you know targeted. Um, traffic that you don't have to do so much work for and as you start to automate your business that's what you're going to want to be doing you're going to want to be paying for traffic really although if you're getting it free why would you pay for it so maybe I'm talking rubbish it depends I suppose on how your free traffic is going or your Facebook traffic is going or your whatever you're doing whatever works for you but that's my top five of the cheapest way to get traffic initially uh, when you're starting out so hopefully you've enjoyed my top five. Um, guys, you might have your own top five for traffic, I don't know, but that's mine. So if you guys are interested in uh, connecting with me and maybe getting involved in the vlogging challenge or maybe talking traffic with me or, hey, maybe I've got something you can learn, maybe you've got something I can learn, click on the link below, catch up with me on the inside where we can get together and help each other out. See you soon.